about properties of multiplication for integers. Property 1 Let us multiply any two integers and see whether their product is an integer. For example, minus 3 into minus 2 is equal to 6, which is an integer. Thus, we see that the product of any two integers is an integer. Hence, if a and b are any two integers, then a into b is also an integer. This is called closure property of multiplication of integers. Property 2 Let us multiply any two integers in different orders and see whether their products are same. For example, 8 into minus 4 is equal to minus 32 and minus 4 into 8 is equal to minus 32. Thus, we see that the product of any two integers remains same, whatever be the order of multiplication. Hence, if a and b are any two integers, then a into b is equal to b into a. This is called commutative property of multiplication of integers. Property 3 Let us multiply any three integers by taking them in different groups and see whether the product in each case is the same. For example, minus 8 into minus 10 into 9 is equal to minus 8 into minus 90 is equal to 720 and minus 8 into minus 10 into 9 is equal to 80 into 9 is equal to 720. Therefore, minus 8 into minus 10 into 9 is equal to minus 8 into minus 10 into 9. Thus, given three integers, they need not be multiplied in the order in which they are given. We can group them in easy combinations and find their product. Hence, if a, b and c are any three integers, then a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. This is called associative property of multiplication of integers. Property 4 Let us examine the product of two integers, one of which is 1. For example, minus 5 into 1 is equal to minus 5. Thus, we find that the product of any integer and 1 is always that integer. Hence, if a is any integer, then a into 1 is equal to 1 into a is equal to a. 1 is the identity element of multiplication for integers. Property 5 Let us multiply an integer by 0. For example, Minus 4 into 0 is equal to 0. Thus, the product of any integer by 0 is 0. Hence, if a is any integer, then a into 0 is equal to 0 into a is equal to 0. Property 6. Let us multiply an integer by minus 1. For example, 5 into minus 1 is equal to minus 5. Hence, if a is any integer, then a into minus 1 is equal to minus 1 into a is equal to minus a. Property 7. Distributive property over addition. We can compute minus 5 into 6 plus minus 3 in two different ways. First, minus 5 into 6 plus minus 3 is equal to minus 5 into plus 3 is equal to minus 15. Second, minus 5 into 6 plus minus 5 into minus 3 is equal to minus 30 plus 15 is equal to minus 15. Thus, we see that minus 5 into 6 plus minus 3 is equal to 
minus 5 into 6 plus minus 5 into minus 3. Hence, if a, b and c are any 3 integers, then a into b plus c is equal to a into b plus a into c. This is called distributive property of multiplication of integers over addition. Let us solve an example. In 8 into minus 5 plus x is equal to 8 into minus 5 plus 8 into 10, find x. This gives us minus 40 plus 8x is equal to minus 40 plus 80. This implies to 8x is equal to minus 40 plus 80 plus 40. This gives us 8x is equal to 80. Hence, x is equal to 10.